Hey guys, so I have been super, super sick today, but I finally managed to eat some food. I feel like I have a little bit of energy, but yeah, um, that's why I have no hair extensions and, and my hair is up and I look kind of weird, but um, <clears throat> so I finally got some strength up and I decided to play WoW because I've just been wasting the day away and I at least need to do something. Um, so we're going to be doing, I guess, a continuation of the war campaign. Um, so yeah, uh, securing Warfang Hold, Sylvanas, my character, the Dark Lady, has need of your services once more. The traitor Bane is being brought before the leaders of the Horde at Warfang Hold. Preparations are underway as we speak to secure the area. The efforts are headed up by Gallywix's minions, who I wouldn't trust to secure a kennel. You will need to go to Warfang Hold and make sure the area is locked down. We are counting on you, Sylvanas. Meet with Boss Mita, Mita at Warfang Hold in Stormsong Valley. Alrighty, so off we go. The word on the street. So Nathanos thinks we don't have the situation under control? Well, he's right. Just don't tell him that. Smug jerk would never let me hear the end of it. Okay. So two quests. Spy games. The Alliance must have got wind of this meeting and they've sent SI7 spies to try to listen in. The problem is uh, they're using some kind of gnomish tech to sneak past our detectors. One of our techs was able to put together something that should be able to neutralize whatever they're using, but the range is short. I'll need you to take it out into the field and look for evidence of SI7 activity. Just mash the button on that thing when <laughs> you think they're close and it should zap them back into view. Alrighty, communication breakdown. Looks like the stealth generators aren't the only tech that SI7 are bringing into the field. Our scouts have reported that looks, or have reported what looks like listening devices set up at key points around warping. Obviously these things have to go, but the goons haven't been able to get close to them on account of the hidden spies. While you're out there, make sure to trash them. And then one last quest looks like tickets, please. There's another problem we could use your help with, Hunter. Gallywix knew this meeting was going to be a big deal, so naturally he decided to sell tickets. What? <laughs> of course he did. Uh, the thing is, I've done a head count here, and we've got a lot more people here than tickets sold, so some of these spectators are trying to pull a fast one. Most of our muscle is out in the clear out getting killed by spies, so we could use the help care to take care to make an honest wage. Alrighty. Speak to these nice kind Torin. Oh, I'm done. Okay. Oh, there's two in one, that's nice. Thanks for the treat. So it looks like this part's going to be the actual like reaction part, which is all that I'm looking forward to. And I think I saw a tiny clip of what is to happen here in one of Taliesin's videos, I believe. Um, so anyways, the display of power, it looks like all the big players are here. This thing's got to be starting any moment now. You'll probably want to get a good seat. Uh, speak to Nathanos White Collar to witness the meeting of the leaders in Morfang Hole. Alrighty, who do we have here? Oh, there she is. Hello. I love it. Lillian Voss, Lordemar. In enemy territory, Bane. Why would Sylvanas gather the Horde's leadership here? Oh man. I suspect that she intends to make a show of force, but for whom I cannot say. Oh man. Take I... caution, Zelda. Uh... The Banshee Queen is plotting something. Damn. I think that that only happened because I went near them. That's pretty cool. Does anyone else say anything? I don't know. Okay, anyways, I think we're good to go. Let's speak to Nathanos. Good work securing the area, Hunter. It's time for the festivities to begin. Observe the meeting. Okay, here we go. I have troubling news. It seems there are traitors in our midst. Mm -hmm. Most of you need fear nothing. But Derek Proudmore didn't flee to Falteris by himself. There I am. He had help, didn't he? Oh. So, I, I, it's because I tattled on you, okay? <laughs> they can I straight up kill him? I returned Derek Proudmore to his family. 
Oh, damn. You raised him as a forsaken. I really like the kind of grayscale on this. This looks really to super cool. His mind. I could not stand by and permit such depravity to unfold. Thank you for your honesty. Oh my god. Oh my god, they still killed Zelling. Oh my god, are they shooting Bane? Holy Oh my god. Are they shooting Bane? He did. And so did you. Are they shooting him? Take him. <gasps> okay. They're taking him captive. Okay, yeah, she just straight up killed Zelling. Did not we'll see for what you are, Silvanus. I don't really see an issue with her killing rules. Zelling to a certain extent. Like he was in cahoots with Bane doing all that, and like she's the war chief there and you is no place for weakness in our ranks. <laughs> Remember your loyalties. Yeah, this was definitely a show of do not mess with me because I will take you out. Um, I think that she had every right to do that. Um, obviously, I'm assuming this is the exact same cinematic thing you'd see regardless of if you tell them Thanos what happens. I can't see them having two different cinematics or whatever. Um, but like, from my point of view, obviously I did tell them Thanos was going on. So like, obviously Solanus knows that Zelling and Bane were working on this with um, Derek and everything. So I don't see any issue with that. Zelling's a pretty minor character too, so whatever. Um, I'm glad she didn't shoot Bane. I feel like, Obviously, that would have been too dramatic to just have in a cutscene like that. Like, they would have to do something more um, significant for him. But I, at the same time, I wouldn't have been overly mad if she did. Um, a display of power. This is a troublesome turn of events. I'm afraid the Banshee Queen may have set in motion a ruinous path for the Horde. Keep your eyes and ears open. The day is not yet done. Alrighty. Why does Sylvanas just got a piece out? Where'd she go? I wanted to go see her, but she's gone, and so is Thanos. Um, yeah, okay, so that was my little reaction to that meeting. Um, again, as you all know, my loyalties will always and forever lay with Sylvanas. She can do no wrong in my eyes, and truthfully, she did what any leader would have to do if there was a traitor, regardless of if it wasn't morally correct what she was doing. Um, you know, she can't just let people be going against her plans and tactics and everything so that's my thoughts on it um, I know a lot of people are clearly very pissed off at her and I don't like that I'm pretty I sure yeah okay you can talk to everyone let's see stand. this is what the horde stands for imprisoning those who act with compassion and honor perhaps my people should have never left high mountain Together. since much anger and frustration among these gathered here today in my homeland we saw such feelings manifest into very real threats after we spent too much time and energy suppressing them bane had to act lest his anger turn into a greater threat to the horde we should all take a lesson from this. Our, Our rebellion against Alisan was just, and it earned me a blade in the back. I pray Bane does not meet a similar fate. The Nightborn are still new to the Horde. Perhaps I should seek Lord Amar's counsel. He understands what my people have endured, and I have learned much through our conversations. I thought you have to say, without the Horde sense. beside us, uh, my people would now be at the mercy of the Alliance. We owe much to the War Tree, but we do not follow her blindly. Bane Bloodhoof has shown honor and respect to the Zandalari, and he must be given a chance to face his accusers and answer for this supposed Mid crime. She has no orc, but the War Chief shows strength by punishing that Torin who deceived and betrayed her. Those who lack loyalty also lack honor. See, this is where I'm sitting. Um, totally agree with that. Uh, Rokan, uh... I'm not doing the troll. This be some bad juju man. Uh, the horde gotta stick together if we gotta win this war. But Sylvanas, so she not making that easy, and this is gonna throw more fuel on the fire. Watch your back. Not fault Bane's heart, even if his actions were drastic. Uh, through this act of defiance, he exposed the schism in the horde that has been growing since the attack on Tel Seal. I fear that by openly opposing Sylvanas, he may have put his own people at risk, as mine would be were I to side with him. These are perilous times. We must be cautious and deliberate. What I do. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. Uh, you see what happened to Bane, to Zelling. That's why we need to lay low, keep our heads down, follow the war chief's lead, at least for now. Bane's mistake wasn't acting against 
Sylvanas, he his mistake was acting too soon. Make me uh, I don't like that. It kind of sounds like Corona's waiting to strike. I didn't see that coming. Wish I'd known things were going to heat up this much. I could have charged double for his Thanks mission. Uh, years ago, Tyrion Forgering sacrificed everything to spare my life as a matter of honor. B Bane has done much the same. Are we now to punish him for it? I feel the Horde is becoming what we once hated, Hunter, and I do not like it. My Lillian, let's see what she has to say. Tom Thomas Stelling has had a family and life. He made me promise to keep them safe even after they called him a monster and shunned him for being undead. It's the promise I will continue to keep. If they ever ask how he met his fate, I will tell them that he died a hero. We forsaken raised are raised with free will, that's what separates us from the Scourge. Sylvanas Windrunner used to take pride in that distinction, but after all I've seen in this war, I must wonder if that still holds true. That's interesting. And Rexar, there are others who must hear of this, Sylvanas, and they will. Good hunting. Alrighty, okay, so that is everyone's thoughts on this. Um, I'm sticking right here with this overlord. I highly agree with her. Lord of had some interesting things to say. Don't like what Garon is saying. She sounds kind of like she's up to something. Um, yeah, so anyways, that was my kind of reaction and playthrough of the continuation of the war campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed. What are your thoughts down below? Uh, do you stand with Sylvanas' decision to kill Zelling in front of everyone? And so quickly and all that. Um, what do you think is going to happen to Bane? I think it'll be cool to see what happens next. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye guys!